Hi, everyone. Just a quick update to let you know where I've been for the last month. Early in June, I had a medical emergency. I was brought to the hospital where I had congestive heart failure, cardiac arrhythmia, and double pneumonia. And I was in there for three nights and four days. But the good news is it was a small town hospital of very friendly people, and I was seen right away, and I received excellent care. So now I'm on the mend. However, when I left to go to the hospital, I left my computer running because I thought I'd be back in an hour. They would give me a prescription for antibiotics or something, and then I would be back. And Dixie was looking after my cats for me. And when she came back, she noticed that the computer was whirling. It was making a lot of noise, and so she turned it off. So when I came back, I tried to turn the computer on, but it was it was done. It was fried. Mind you, the computer was like 22 years old. It was on its last legs anyways. Now it's completely burned. It's gone. It's destroyed. Thank goodness I had a good friend here in town, Daryl, who fixes computers as a sideline. And he came over, picked up my computer, brought it back to his place, and he, thank God, saved all my files onto a separate hard drive. Or otherwise, I would have lost three years' worth of work. Anyway, so that was good. I finally got a new computer set up, but I'm trying to get used to the software. It's Windows 10. I was still using Windows 7. And every time Windows does a reboot, it makes it worse. And not only that, I had to uh, try to source all the software programs that I had on the old computer. I had to resource it for Windows 10, such as a video editing software and photo editing software. and So that took a lot of time. Then I found out I could not get onto any of my social media platforms because now that I was using a new computer, uh, I had to verify my identity even though I've never clicked on the link that said set up two-step verification process, because I can't. I don't have a smartphone. I've never had a smartphone. I never will get a smartphone. So this two-step verification process doesn't work for me because I cannot receive text messages. Anyways, it took me like two weeks to find workarounds. I had to send copies of my passport to Facebook and YouTube and Finally, I, I'm back on the platforms. Then I got hacked, and my computer was hacked, and, uh, well, okay, now i got to get rid of this Trojan. Then I got a strike against my YouTube channel. This was for a video interview that I did two years ago in which I discussed the case of a, 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 a very unfortunate young girl that committed suicide here in town. And the reason she committed suicide, well, let's just say it has to do with Pride Month. And the fact that I linked suicide to Pride Month got me a strike on my YouTube channel. So then I was off for a week again. The good news, though, is I am back. And tonight I'll be doing the Super Chat. And the good news about that is that I'm using StreamYard, which means that People can come onto StreamYard and they can talk and they can, you know, if you want to use video and show who you are, that's fine too. But now our little community, we have about, you know, 60 people every Sunday night. Before it was just me talking, but now it's even better because you can come on and talk. So if you have something to say, you have a question for me, or if you have a story or, or some advice to give to the community... Now it's your chance. You can come on. Look for the link in the chat. Click on that link, and so long as you have a microphone on your computer, you can join us. So that's the update. The other thing is it's cost me a lot of money last month, money that I don't have. So if you can help me out, I'm a week behind on the rent. Thanks again, and I look forward to talking to you tonight.